What is up YouTube? Ruben here, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Dell Precision T5500. So, I made an original review, but I actually scrapped it, so let's do it again. Oh, actually, this is getting our first attempt. So let's go and begin. Here in the front, I actually replaced the optical drive. The original optical drive is right here. This is an HP optical drive. Got the three and a half inch or five and a half inch bay cover. Here you got the three and a half inch bay cover. You got headphone and microphone jacks, four diagnostic lights, a network indicator for Ethernet, hard drive indicator. Two USB 2.0 ports. Sorry for that a bird outside. I actually have the door open. Anyway, we got two USB 2.0 ports. Firewire. Power button. A Dell logo. The Intel Xeon sticker. It should have been. It should have had a Windows 7 sticker and the bottom vent. Also behind the front bezel is the fans inside let's go and get to the left well, actually let's go to the back here on the left is going to be the side door so yeah pretty much the whole story here on the back sorry for that a cluster here get the power supply this is actually modular here you got and two display ports and um, DVI. So that is uh, that has the NVIDIA Quadro FX 3800. Right here you got Ethernet, six USB 2.0 ports, audio ports. So you get line in and line out. No microphone on this thing. Yes, you'd still get two uh, PS2 ports, one keyboard, one mouse. Serial and parallel ports. So the right, the right. Oh, okay. There's nothing on the right besides the rubber feet, which are still intact. The rubber feet on the bottom are also intact. Let's go and get to the top. Here on the top is the service tag. If you want to look that up, it was made in 2010. August 11th, 2010. Um, you got the Dell. Uh, you got all these stickers and the Windows 7 Pro key. You can use that key to activate Windows 10, which is why it's running. Let's go ahead and, and take you to the specs here. So, I'm not going to do the upgrade, guys. This is going to be in a separate video. So let's go and do the specs. Now for the specs, we got a 6 core uh, Intel Xeon X5680. Now I know that uh, the X5680 is not compatible with the uh, HP uh, Z600 workstation. Uh, this one actually has LGA 1366. This one has 4 gigabytes of DDR3. 1333 megahertz RAM and a 500 gig hard drive. I put I just slot the hard drive that uh, I used on the uh, HPXW uh, HPXW 4600 workstation. Which I'll uh, if you want to check this video out, I'll put the link in the video description. So yeah, I stuck the hard drive uh, in this computer. And as a, uh, oh, actually, no, it doesn't have another hard drive. And it's running Windows 10 Pro 64-bit now. Originally, I was running Windows 10 Pro 32-bit, but it was run, it was sluggish, and I found that the hard drive was too slow and starting to go bad. And that drive came from my compact, which I'll do a review on it. Since it has a working power supply. 
Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get to the bios real quick and see and how it looks. Sorry for the lack of birds outside, but anyways, let's go ahead and power it on. As UXW Bill says, smoke test. Now to get to the bios, I need to hit off two. Yeah, Lena's babies are crying right now. Oh yeah, we do have babies inside the house. And that's why you hear babies crying. Man. Anyway. Here we go. Here in the bios. It's going to go to system board. You can pause the rest of the video here. Yeah. Babies are crying inside. Well, I like to turn on that fan here. Got a mosquito. I'm gonna kill that mosquito here. When I pause the video. Okay, let's boot into Windows 10. And boot it up from the power on. A uh, power on. A self test. When I hit the power button to the desktop. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see how Windows 10 actually boots. It takes longer for some reason. And there we go. We are running Windows 10. Let's go ahead and, and get you to the system properties. Okay, so we're running Windows 10 Pro Fall Creators Update. I added the OEM info. Yeah, I added that Dell logo here. You can pause the rest of it. I'll do a, a optimization guide video um, either next week or when I finish reviewing other computers so yeah let's go ahead and take you guys to programs and features okay so since programs and features are not in the search box I'm gonna show you how to do that I'm gonna click on search which I got rid of Cortana by the way I'm gonna type control panel and I'm gonna type I not type I'm gonna click on programs and features Got not much installed. You got C Cleaner, Defragler, Fraps, NVIDIA Drivers, Specky, VLC Media Player, and Westree. Yes, I'm using this tripod here, the same tripod I used on the HP uh, Pavilion G7, which is also going to be linked in the video description. Okay, let's go ahead and run the programs. Okay, so let's go ahead and run Microsoft Edge. Since I don't have Chrome installed, as you can see, it opens up just that house just fine. Let's go ahead and run VLC. Yeah, sure. Here we go, VLC Media Player. And let's go ahead and take a look at Specky. Now, I'm going to have to take the phone out from the tripod to do that. OK, 
Okay, so that's spiky. Let me minimize that. Now, I'm gonna go to this PC. I'm gonna bring you guys out there. So you can see, it has a 500 gig hard drive. Okay, let's go ahead and take the phone out from my tripod. And we'll check uh, the specs. If you're using Specky, so I'll be back. So here in Specky, we are running Windows 10 Pro, Intel Xeon X5680, Westmere. Let's go get you guys inside. If you look at the cache, see where it says L2 uh, Unified Cache Size. This one actually has. 1.5 megabytes, 6 times 256 kilobytes. So yeah, Intel Xeon X5680. 4 gigs of triple uh, channel RAM. NVIDIA Quadro FX 3800. 500 gig hard drive, HP DVD burner. Yes, it did burn uh, some ISO images. And just your standard high definition audio device. Now let's go ahead and get you to the graphics. Here we got an NVIDIA Quadro FX 3800. So it uses one gigabyte of dedicated video RAM. Only two gigabytes of shared RAM, giving a total of three gigabytes of total graphics. So yeah, that is it. Let's go ahead and close this. And that's it. That is the review of that Dell Precision T5500. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure you hit the subscribe button and, and also hit the bell notification icon when I upload new videos and putting my tripod away hopefully it doesn't fall out and I want to show you one more thing before I end this video so stay tuned okay so here it is I want to give you guys a quick look on my dog her name is Luna she is eight dog eight years old around 50 dog years old and she's doing very well yeah I like Luna so much here's a bonus for you this is my dog Luna and that's it yeah. zoom out here Goodbye, Luna. I'll see you later. Yes, I still have my HP Pavilion, which I'm going to be editing on this. And that's it. That is, again, the review of the Dell Precision T5500. So, I'll see you next time.